Welcome everyone to the tutorial of SOLIDWORKS This tutorial is intended uh, to those who are using the SOLIDWORKS for the first time and the sketches that we are going to do in this video is very very simple uh, Let's have a look So this is our drawing It is almost shaped like a mushroom if I'm not mistaken and we are going to draw this front view only two dimensions are given the base of the mushroom which is one six seven and the radius of the circles inside the mushroom so without further ado let's go to our solidworks so when you open your solidworks software you see the first view that you are going to see the next step is to use your cursor and click new it will pop up three options for you the first one is part assembly and drawing in this case select part and click ok then you come up to this view this is the most of your time will you will be dealing in these interfaces in any solidworks drawing you will start your solidworks with sketch so click sketch tab and it will show multiple tasks or tools that you can use to draw your sketches so start with this line and choose center line when you click this center line the software will ask you to choose which plane you want to start your sketches you have the front plane the top plane and the right plane in this case click the front plane when you click the front plane you can see that the front plane is a bit angle so click the view options and choose the front view the purpose is to make the front plane look like a 3d view right? it is become easier for you to sketch your sketches so once you do that still in the option of center line click at this red circle or red arrow and then pull your arrow upwards as you can see from here as you pull up the circle the numbers are changing okay the first one is the length of the distance of the line followed by the angle of that line in this case we want to draw a vertical line so make sure it is 90 so you can play around but when you close to 90 it will snap to 90 and then just click and then press escape and then click on this line and you will be given to change the parameters of this line in this case the length and the angle so choose the length option and change it to 300 and click ok and this line now has been changed to 300 units in this case in mm but now since the lines become too long your view no longer see the line 100 percent so by using your mouse click this fit preview and now you can see that the line are displayed 100 percent in your canvas once you do that let's start the drawing by sketching the bottom of the mushroom click over here and then drag it to the left and then click anywhere you want okay and then click this line and we knew that the distance of the bottom part of the mushroom is one six seven but in this case we want to divide the length in by two so slash two and press enter 
This is because the approach of this drawing is that we want to draw the left side of the mushroom. Once we completed the left side of the mushroom, we are going to flip or to mirror the left side to the right side of the drawings. So just focus on the left side first. Once you uh, in key in the length, click OK. Then click this tool which is called Spline. And then start your drawing from here. Click and then drag to somewhere over here. And then continue until up here. Uh, in this case, uh, two points should be enough because we only want to draw the neck of the mushrooms. Click spline again. Start your line where you finish off the neck. So in this case, you want to put the point a bit higher but unable to do so because of the view is a bit small so using the scroll on your mouse scroll or zoom out and then you will have some more spaces for you to draw the top of the mushroom so make sure that the, the final point or the final dot is on these lines so it should be somewhere around here and then press escape but you see that these lines are shorter than the height of this mushroom so click this center line and then change the parameter to 400 as you can see these lines are now intersect so once we completed the left side of the mushroom we are going to mirror this component to the right hand side to do this select mirror entities click over here and an option will come up over here and it will ask you to select which line that you want to mirror so click one two and three one all these lines become light blue which means it is, has been selected click this over here mirror about and then click on the center line once you do that you can see a yellow lines this is just a preview that the software generated for you so you know what is the final sketches will be so click ok so basically this is your shape of your mushroom now what's left is for us to draw the circle inside this mushroom uh, just click this circle tool circle and then circle type is the first one click and then drag and then click again you can see that even though the you have made a circle you can still play around with the parameter in this case change to 25 and press enter so you can see we have a circle over here repeat the same steps around five to six times so that you have enough circle inside the mushroom the position of the circle is up to you it doesn't really matter okay there we have it and then click ok if you want to move the circle just click at the origin and then drag whatever you want it to be placed the position again is up to you i just changing it so that it will look nicer okay so once we're done with the sketching we just need to add some dimensions using this smart dimensional tools click it and then click which component that you want it to show the dimension the respective component will be colored orange 
So in this case, just click and drag it to the bottom and then click and then click OK or press enter. Again, using this same method, click on the circle and pull it outside and click OK. Once you do that, it's time to change or to convert this mushroom into 3D shapes. How to do that is quite simple, it's very simple. Just click this features tab and then followed by extruded boss slash paste. Once you click over here, the software will generate a 3D view of your sketches. Of course, you can change the thickness of your 3D body to whatever thickness that you want. In this case, we put it by 40. And let's say you are confident or feel good enough for you, just click OK. So there you have it, your 3D body of your mushroom. I just click anywhere to get rid of these blue dotted lines. And then if you want if you want to change the color of your 3D body, just click at this circle with four colors. You will be as presented by this preset color. You can choose whatever you want. Or let's say you want to choose a custom color, it's still up to you. Uh, in this case, I would prefer it to be grey and then click OK. So that's it for our example, the first example for SOLIDWORKS. I hope that you learn the basic of SOLIDWORKS by watching this video and thank you.